Traders who don't understand price action are essentially gambling with their finances. Here's how I know. Hello fellow traders, I'm Trader Tom with over a decade and a half of experience as well as the founder of Simply Forex Trading Academy. I'm opening the doors to just 20 ambitious traders for my elite weekly masterclasses where you get the chance to join an inner circle where ordinary traders turn into market experts. Dive deep into the art of price action trading across four intensive sessions. You'll emerge with ability to spot high probability trades, execute with confidence, and achieve consistent gains. Secure your spot immediately. Don't miss this exclusive opportunity to kickstart your journey. Can't wait to see you in class. Hello, traders. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Didn't do anything that I wouldn't do. Uh, Trader Tom here from Simply Forex, the channel created to help you understand the charts. Um, in today's vid, guys, we're going to look back at Friday's trades. Um, and if you stay till the end of the vid, I'm also going to give you my trade ideas for today and the important news for today as well. Stay tuned for that. Let's do this. Um, so let's start with Friday's trade, right? The first one was Aussie dollar, US dollar. We was looking at a couple of US dollar pairs and we was looking at US dollar strength, right? So we were selling Aussie dollar, US dollar. Why were we selling it? Well, if we just follow structure, guys, okay? So we were in a downtrend. As soon as we got this large red candle, the trend changes, right? We've broke these lows. We've even broken these lows. So we got lower lows, we're in a downtrend. Price retraces and never breaks these highs, okay? Because of this big bearish candle, you know, it never broke this high. And then we got that followed by a big bearish candle, right? So the idea was to keep selling this back down to this uh, area of support. And as you can see, guys, that's exactly what happened, right? Um, if we drop down to the H1, this was a H1 entry, um, and it just, you know, give us a nice, nice entry. Again, trading can be so simple sometimes, and then so difficult other times, yeah, because, yeah, I'll show you the next trade as well. So if we just follow H1 structure, right, nothing complicated, right, we're just following H1 structure, so we're in a downtrend, right, Price retraces, we pinpointed this grey zone at the start of the day because it hits these levels through here. Um, it's at the last H1 high. We get a bearish reaction. Yeah, I got a little retrace, entered here, started selling, put our stop above here, you know, and then take price down to here. Okay, I actually took some profit, you know, uh, at this level here. Once I got my one is to one, yeah, closed 80%. And then I just let the 20% run down to this blue line where I closed the remainder of the 20%. Yeah, because this was our higher time frame target. All right. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, lovely trade, made some nice profit. Okay. Um, now the next trade was gold. And this was also US dollar strength. Um, but on Friday, we got a lot of strength into the flight to safety pairs, right? So we got uh, a lot of uh, strength into gold, and we got a lot of strength into the Swiss franc, and even the yen, right, after the news. Okay, so we saw strength into the flight to safety pairs. Um, but if we start with the day chart, right, we were looking to sell this, okay? And it made sense, right? We were in a downtrend. Here we was in an uptrend, but bang, right? As soon as we get this big candle, we got lower lows. We're in a downtrend. Price retraced to this gray zone. We got a nice wick rejection, followed by a nice bearish candle. We saw we were getting lower highs as well. And the idea on the back of this bearish candle was just to take, you know, uh, price back down to these daily lows. And there was enough room there to make some nice profit, right? Now, on this, guys, I'm going to show you on the H4, right? Because I basically traded, I, I made a mistake, okay? So normally I trade um, a, a reaction. So when I, if I'm selling the market, I need to see a bearish reaction, 
Okay, um, and then I can enter. And I'm also going to bring up the fib levels here, right? Because I, I made a decision using these as well, right? So at this point right here, okay, you could see we was at the fifth 0.5 fib level. We were below the moving average, yeah, more or less at the moving average 20, okay? And I just really like the level for that reason. We were in a downtrend, right? Price retraced all the way, you know, that's a big retracement to the 0.5 level, below the moving average 20, and it was still at our grey zone, right? So for all of those reasons, I traded the level, right? And got punished. Yeah, you, you need to wait for a reaction, guys. If you if you don't see sellers in the market, um, then don't sell. Yeah, and, and that was my mistake. If we look at the H1, so even at that 0.5 level, you know, even on the H1, there's just no there's no sellers here. There was no sellers all day, right? Not until up here. Okay. Um, and that was just people taking profit. Okay, so yeah, just traded the level, right? And because it's the 0.5 level, it also allows me to put my stop up here, you know, and take price back down to here, knowing that you're going to get one is to one. So that, so that was the idea, but didn't get a bearish reaction and then got punished with this trade. Okay, so if you make a mistake, nine times out of 10, you're going to get punished with trading. All right. So those are the US dollar pairs. And then if we look at pound Aussie dollar, we just didn't really get a set up with this one, guys. All right. If we look at the day chart, okay, we were looking to buy, right? Because we were in, a, in an uptrend. Okay. Bang. Yeah. Higher highs, price retraced all the way to the moving average 20 and this area of support here as well, this gray zone. So in an uptrend, nice area of support. We had a bullish, bullish-ish candle, and the idea was to take price all the way back up to here. Now, if we look at the H1, just look at this price action. You know, price was really, really didn't know what to do here. And why is that? So price, this is a really important H4 level running through there. Okay, and then we had sort of H4, H1 buyers here. And then price was just like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't think we can break this level, right? And then price broke down, okay? Um, and, and it just didn't give us a trade after that, guys. Once we started breaking this H1 level, yeah, it just sort of carried on down and we was in a H1 downtrend. So, yeah, um, it was that level that held here, guys, that didn't really give us a setup. All right. So, yeah, those were the trades from Friday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoy receiving my analysis and trade ideas every single day, then please come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification button. And if everyone could please smash the like button, it really helps support the vid. Um, right. Trades for Monday, the 17th of June. Uh, before we get started, guys, let me just mention a few things. First of all, um, if you haven't already, come join our trading community of like-minded traders uh, sharing knowledge, ideas, trades. Come join our free Discord channel. Just create a username, come in. All right. Secondly, guys, right now we are giving you free access to the VIP Trading Academy if you sign up with one of our preferred brokers. Yeah? In there, you get all of my trade signals. You get numerous tutorials on things I've learned over the years, and you get direct access to me should you need help with anything to do with trading, um, plus many other perks as well. Um, also, guys, really important to mention, there's not long left, but on the 24th of June, we are doing a beginner masterclass, okay? Uh, there's four seminars, and it's all based on price action to give you the confidence to read the charts and find high probability trades, okay? So if you're interested in that, I think there's only like nine seats available now. Um, it's first come, first serve. And that is also free if you sign up with one of our preferred brokers. 
Um, finally, guys, if you would like to show your support for the channel, then you can. You can become a Simply Forex YouTube member, and there's many, many perks for doing so. All the information for all of these things are in the video description. Check them out. Um, and also, guys, don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Uh, get all your questions ready for me. We'll go through the live charts. Uh, come join us. Right. Uh, trades for today then, guys. So um, we were seeing a bit of CAD strength, right? And we're also seeing a bit of continued euro weakness. Okay. So that has led to uh, a euro Canadian uh, dollar trade setup. And we are looking for sells. Okay. So we are in a downtrend. All right. We're clearly getting lower highs. Yeah, lower lows, right? Clearly a downtrend. Um, and we still have a bit of room to move into before we start hitting this uh, support here. So there's 4670 level. Um, so that's the idea. And just look at the candles as well. Super duper bearish. If you look in any economic book, if you look up super duper bearish, you will see these candles. Um, right, so now if we go to the H4... So really the H4 play, right, is a retrace back up into this grey zone, right? Moving average 20 comes round, yeah, price retraces up into here. We get a bearish reaction, we can start selling, okay? So that's what it's looking like on the H4. Um, on the H1, because it is such a bearish candle, guys, you know, it may not retrace all the way up to here. OK, so it might just retrace to these last H1 highs here. We've got the moving average 20 there as well. Um, so in here, if we get a bearish H1 reaction, I'll also consider selling Euro Canadian dollar. All right. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but Euro CAD sells. Um, what else are we looking at? We're also looking at pound Swiss franc. Right. So as I mentioned in the recap, we saw... Um, real strength in the flight to safety pairs, right? Swiss franc, gold, um, Japan, uh, Japan, yen after the news was also strong, right? So um, this has been reflected in pound Swiss franc. Look at that Swiss franc strength yeah, on Friday, right? And if we just look at the chart, we're clearly in a downtrend, right? We broke this important level here. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see we still have enough room just for this next area of support here. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, we'd like a little retrace so we can get some value to take it lower. Um, and again, just look at the bearishness, super duper bearish candle. That's what that is. Um, if we look at the H4, guys, um, so this is a daily level. Right. This is, a, as you can see, this is the last H4 level. So price could retrace into here or even here on the H4. Right. We get a bearish reaction. If we get a bear, bearish reaction there, we can start selling or here we can start selling. OK, um, so that's what the H4 is looking like. And just looking at these candles, maybe we will get a little retrace. Um, if we drop down to the H1, there is this level here we'll see what price does at this level yeah because it's the last h1 high if we get a real strong bearish reaction maybe price doesn't want to retrace that much and we could perhaps sell it from there as well so it all depends on the reactions we get at these levels guys all right so that is pound swiss franc sells um and the final one i'm looking at so we've been seeing some us dollar strength right OK, and pound US dollar is an interesting one. So let, so this is like 80 percent a trade idea, if you like. Let me explain why. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Still haven't got rid of that cough. Um, if anyone wants a cough, just uh, email us at hello, simply forex. Um, right. Pound US dollar. We are in an uptrend. OK, right. But this candle has broken that low. 
Okay, if I run my cursor over that, you can see the low of that candle, yeah, has just been broken by the body of this candle. That has broken that. But this hasn't broken this level of support. So it's broken a daily low, but has it broken the support level? Yeah, so that's that's the interesting part about this trade. Okay, now for me, it's definitely broken that low. So we are in a downtrend, but we're at a level of support. But you know, after a retrace, I th still think we can take price down to here because of that break of structure. That's the driving force behind this trade idea. You know, and we have a very bearish candle. Okay, we saw some pound weakness come in on Friday as well. Um, so bearing that in mind, guys, if we drop down to the H4, right, if we, you know, you can see the wicks on these candles. That suggests a retrace, right? So if price retraces all the way back up to this level, it's the last H4 low, and you can see price has reacted here before. I mean, even if I drag it left, yeah, you can see price reacts at this level. OK, so this could be a really nice level. Moving average 20 comes round. Price retraces into here. We get a nice bearish reaction. And then we can start selling. We can even take profit here and then leave some profit to run. All right. But that's really the level I'm looking at for pound US dollar. I need that retracement because of the fact that it has broken the low, but hasn't broken support on the day chart. All right, guys. So, yeah, those are my trade ideas for today. Uh, let's take a look at the news now. So, news for Monday, the 17th of June. Uh, before I get started, guys, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and smash the like button. And also, come join us for the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Come join us for that. Get your questions ready. Uh, right, news. Um, so it's a very light news day, okay? The, the only real news is China news, okay? You've got the Chinese unemployment and some industrial production figures as well. So all this together is like one big three-star rating. And this can really affect the Aussie dollar, yeah, because China and Australia have, you know, very important um, import-export ties, okay? So that could really move uh, any Aussie dollar pairs. But then after that, guys, you know, nothing else we're really interested in. You know, maybe this uh, New York M Papaya State Manufacturing. But other than that, guys, a pretty uh, light news day. You are free to trade. All right, guys. So, yeah, there you go. Please subscribe, like and share. Join me for the live stream later and I'll see you soon.